Also tonight, the most detail we've seen so far about the pitch for a casino in Portsmouth. While history was again being made in Jamestown, City Council got to see what could make history in this city. As we've reported, the new site would be for a casino would be at 264 and Victory Boulevard. The big question's always been, could both the city and Norfolk support casinos? Ten of your side's Brett Hall has some answers for us tonight. Brett? Well, Tom and Anita, gaming experts out of California say yes. Of course, as you just said, we're right here on the site of the former Victory Village development where they want that world-class hotel and casino to be. But how did those gaming experts come to the conclusion that the casino could be right here? We actually had some questions after their presentation of what they didn't look at when it comes to future gaming operations in Hampton Roads. Portsmouth Mayor John Rowe told us he had goosebumps when he first saw what could be on this 50-acre plot. We literally went from the grass tops to the stratosphere. Today, his confidence grew as two gaming experts told the council that a 180,000-square-foot casino and 300-room world-class hotel could very much be successful here, bringing in roughly $400 million a year even if another casino does pop up on the Norfolk waterfront. Intuitively, we felt that the market could um, sustain uh, two casinos, and this proves it. However, how did hired consultants Alan Meister and John Ripa come to those conclusions? They say they looked at site access, tourism rates, and revenues of casinos in neighboring states. It's, it's a very good market. The, this, the Hampton Roads market is a very good market. But what they didn't look at was the new slot parlor-like Rosie's Gaming Emporiums. One is set to open this fall in Hampton, and owners are still considering opening another on the south side. Why weren't they in the report? First of all, I think it might be short-lived, too. Generally, what happens is on a casino development, you have more options where you have table games, different types of slots. You're very limited. Um, I think a lot of the reason why people are going there is because it is the only option right now. In a statement, owners sharply disagree. And that statement reads in part, Colonial Downs Group and Rosie's Gaming Emporiums are committed to fulfilling our $300 million investment in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and we are here to stay. That's just part of it. You can see more on wavy.com. But it's also important to note that the consultants say the report isn't finished yet, as they have not yet determined the impacts to the surrounding community. They also say that since their legislature still hasn't even legalized gambling, and there's really no specific timetable on that, the whole study may have to be revised in the future. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.